Hello dear friends welcome back it's me Srija Suraj and you are watching SS Math Solutions in this section I am giving a catered category 3 mathematics pedagogy question all were previously asked let's go to our section here is our first question I will read the question firstly okay and I will give uh, one to two seconds for answering time so that time you just think about the answer okay our first question is which is more comprehensive testing measurements assessment evaluation which is more comprehensive evaluation is more comprehensive okay evaluation is more comprehensive let's try the next one skinner linear programming then dash branching programming crowder piaget bruner cagney so skinner is related to linear programming then who is related to branching programming so obviously the answer is Crowder. Option A. Crowder is the answer. Let's do the next one. Which is not a characteristic of a gifted? So think about it. Not a characteristic. Prefers think on higher levels of abstraction. Concentration for longer periods. Like simple practical works. Frequently asking profound questions. So which is not a characteristic of a gifted? So the answer is like simple practical works. Like simple practical works is not a characteristic of a gifted. Other three were the characteristics of a gifted children. Let's go to the next one. Which of the following is not an objective under affective domain? Organizing, responding, understanding, valuing. Is not an objective answer is understanding okay understanding is not an objective under affective domain let's move to next one highest level of objective under revised bloom's taxonomy of educational objectives is creating evaluating knowing applying so highest level of objective under revised bloom's taxonomy of educational objectives is creating answer is creating Okay, let's try the next one. When students solve problems, they involve in analyzing, synthesizing, thinking, all the above. We know that a student need to solve a problem. They involve in all the three, analyzing, synthesizing, thinking. So, the answer is all the above. Moving to the next one. The curriculum reforms group SMSG is from USA, UK, India, Japan. The curriculum reforms group SMSG is from USA. USA. Okay. Let's try the next one. Which of the following is mostly related to the routine work of a mathematics teacher? Year plan, monthly plan, unit plan, lesson plan. We know that this easily we know a mathematics teacher or any teacher mostly related to the routine work of a lesson plan okay every day lesson plan needed right so lesson plan is the answer so our next question is here lecture method is most suitable in a mathematics class for developing mathematical concept summing up the concepts learned applying the learned concepts in new situations concretizing abstract concepts so lecture method is most suitable in a mathematics class for Option 2, summing up the concepts learnt. Okay, summing up the concepts learnt. Let's try the next one. An important aspect of branching programming is remedial instruction follows the incorrect responses. No remedy is suggested for incorrect responses. More useful in concept formation. Every learner follows the same path in the same order. An important aspect of branching programming Remedial instruction follows the incorrect responses. Okay. Remedial instruction follows the incorrect response is the answer. Moving to the next one. Heuristic method was introduced by Armstrong, Kilpatrick, John Dewey, Suchman. Heuristic method was introduced by Armstrong. Okay. Heuristic method was introduced by Armstrong. Let's do the next one. Which among the following comes first in mathematical systems, definitions, axioms, undefined terms, theorems? Which among the following comes first in mathematical systems, undefined terms? 
okay undefined terms is the answer comes first in mathematical system undefined terms next one intelligent use of reasoning power is related to which aim of teaching mathematics practical aim cultural aim disciplinary aim social aim intelligent use of reasoning power is related to disciplinary aim okay answer is disciplinary aim let's do the next one making an overall assessment or decision with the instructional program is making an overall assessment or decision with the instructional program is diagnostic evaluation formative formative evaluation summative evaluation placement evaluation answer is summative evaluation making an overall assessment related to summative evaluation let's do the next one specific behavioral outcomes are called curricular objective instructional objective learning outcome specification specific behavioral outcomes answer is specifications then do the next one which element of a model of teaching describes the model in action social system syntax support system principles of reaction answer is syntax so okay model of teaching describes the model in action is syntax let's do the next one which of the following is a maxim of teaching in mathematics rational to empirical synthetic to analytic psychological to logical reduction to induction which of the following is a maxim of teaching in mathematics psychological to logical answer is psychological to logical let's do the next one dalton plan is an attempt to promote classroom interaction correlate the subject with the life situations provide group activities individualize instruction dalton plan is an attempt to individualize instruction individualize instruction is the answer dalton plan is an attempt to individualize instruction let's do the next one when the test scores are affected by the evaluator's bias the test is said to be objective subjective reliable valid so the test scores are affected by the evaluator's bias the test is said to be subjective the test is said to be subjective moving to the next one drawing logical interfaces from established facts is inductive reasoning deductive reasoning both inductive and deductive reasoning neither inductive nor deductive reasoning answer is deductive reasoning drawing logical interfaces from established facts is deductive reasoning let's do the next one learning is basically a social process a cognitive process an emotional process an affective process learning is basically cognitive process learning is basically a cognitive process let's do the next one which is not a projective aid overhead projector slide projector epidioscope television we know that television is not a projective aid answer is television television is not a projective aid move to the next one cognitive development model is propagated by osubel bruner piaget sachman cognitive development model is propagated by piaget okay answer is piaget let's do the next one time limit is not specified in the case of aptitude test intelligence test achievement test diagnostic test time limit is not specified in the case of diagnostic test time limit is not specified in the case of diagnostic test okay moving to the next one the roman numeral corresponds to hindu arabic numeral 426 is this type of question is very important okay 426 option 2 is the answer okay option 2 is the answer moving to next one the mathematician who used i for expressing root minus 1 is goes raymond newton namanujan the mathematician who used i for expressing root of minus 1 is 
answer is Gauss. Okay, the mathematician who used I4 expressing root minus 1 is Gauss. Next one, the cause of backwardness in learning mathematics is mostly defective handwriting, transferring from one school to other, family or home environment, lack of interest in the subject. The cause of backwardness in learning mathematics is mostly lack of interest in the subject. Okay, the cause of backwardness in learning mathematics is mostly lack of interest in the subject. Let's do the next one. Which is the first step involved in project method? Choosing the project, providing situation, purposing the project, planning of the project. So, first step involved in the project method is providing situation. Okay, providing situation is the first step involved in the project method. Let's do the next one. Subject matter is organized in the curriculum in accordance with the needs and level of students in a graded order of difficulty. This approach of curriculum organization is topical, spiral, unitary, logical. So, the answer is spiral. Subject matter is organized in the curriculum in accordance with the needs and level of students in a graded order of difficulty. This approach of curriculum organization is spiral. Okay. Let's go the next one. A teacher uses examples and non-examples for developing a concept in her class. Which among the following is her choice? So, teacher uses examples and non-examples. So, inductive thinking, inquiry training model, concept attainment, advanced organizer model. <coughs> so, examples and non-examples for developing a concept. So, the answer is concept attainment model. Okay, concept attainment model is the answer. Now, I am giving some general questions here. Okay, listen carefully. Uh, the first one is <coughs> Prince of Indian Mathematics. Okay, who is known as the Prince of Indian Mathematics? Srinivasa Ramanujan. So, Srinivasa Ramanujan is known as the Prince of Indian Mathematics. And other one is uh, Number Rules the Universe. Okay, Number Rules the Universe. Who said it? Pythagoras. Okay, Prince of Ma Indian Mathematics is Srinivasa Ramanujan and Number Rules the Universe said by Pythagoras. Now, the next one is what is the most famous theory of triangles in geometry? So, the theory related to triangles in geometry, the famous theory is Pythagoras theory. Okay, Pythagoras theory. And next one is in which number system there is no symbol for 0? So, Roman numerals there is no symbol for 0. Okay, Roman numerals there is no symbol for 0. Then the movie based on Srinivasa Ramanujan. Okay, the man who knew infinity. Which movie based on Srinivasa Ramanujan? The man who knew infinity. Now, the next one is, which is the smallest perfect number? The perfect number, the smallest perfect number is 6. Okay, 6 is the smallest perfect number. Then, what is a solid shape that has 4 equal triangles on, um, triangle has faces called tetrahedron. Okay, what is a solid shape that has 4 equal triangle as faces called tetrahedron? And this tetrahedron also called triangular pyramid. Okay, this tetrahedron also called triangular pyramid. This question can ask like this: How many faces are there in a triangular pyramid? Four faces. Okay, how many faces are there in a triangular pyramid? Four faces. And tetrahedron is called triangular uh, pyramid, and it's called it as a polyhedron. Okay. Now the next one is when Pi Day is celebrated around the world. Pi day, Pi day lay observed on March 14th, okay, worldwide observed on March 14th, March 14th. Okay, this much only for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel for future video.